Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Boozer here. Hopefully you guys are having a good weekend so far. In this video, I want to go over some tips to finish the Bambus Fusion properly so you guys aren't uh, faced with any surprises along the way. All the events are out currently, so whatever we see is what we get. There's no more surprises in terms of what you need to acquire, but there are some things that we need to be extra detailed about, so I'm going to go over that in this video. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so the first tip I have for you guys is that even though the events actually end um, on th Wednesday, so the final event ends on Wednesday, uh, this Artifact Enhancement event that's currently uh, we're still waiting for right now, uh, we have until Saturday to actually fuse the fusion. So you have a bit of time to get things in order, um, you don't need to rush it, um, so there is almost uh, a week to complete the fusion. Keep in mind that you must pull the fusion before uh, this timer expires. You can't save it like fragment fusions, for example, which just sit here. So make sure you guys pull it within the allotted time slot and then you guys won't have a problem. Uh, the next tip I have for you guys is make sure you guys pay attention to how much each one of these epics and the legendary costs to fuse. Actually, the epics will cost, I'll show you guys here, for example, the epics cost 300k each, so you have four of them. That costs 1.2 million, and to fuse Bambus, it actually costs 1 million silver. So I know this isn't a big deal for most people, but it might catch some of you off guard. So make sure you guys pay attention to that, and you guys have necessary amounts of silver ready to summon these fusions. The next tip I have for you guys is we require um, force and spirit potions for the epics to fully ascend them. They do get a little bit hefty, but if you guys require spirit or force keep uh, potions uh, to run to get to get some, the spirit keep is open on Monday and force keep is open on Tuesday. However, if you somehow miss these two days, you will have another chance to have these uh, keeps open before the fusion actually ends. So we'll have the spirit keep back on Thursday and the force keep back on Friday if you guys require uh, these keeps uh, before the spirit before the fusion ends so there is a, a secondary chance there to um, make good on getting the fusion um, potions um, so that's another tip um, the next tip i have for you guys is um, coming up here we actually have cvc coming up here it is so cvc is coming up on october 10th to 12th and it will be personal rewards. So make sure you guys, uh, if possible, prepare your fusion for this date. That's gonna be in about two or three days time, depending on when you watch this video. Um, but if you have the fusion ready, you will be able to summon the fusion for 30,000 CVC points very quickly and easily. So that's another big tip for you guys. Also, I will say that it's going to be a summon rush event, most likely. the uh, Friday before the end of the fusion so like I said this fusion ends I believe on Saturday um, but the there's only going to be a summon rush so there's really no point I guess in holding on to Bambus for anything further it only gives you a little bit more extra time if you need it but I would definitely prepare to uh, build and complete this fusion before CVC and then able to summon the um, Bambus for CVC points after that, I think the most one of the most important things we have to consider here, and I think this is going to catch a lot of people off guard, is that there's actually two types of fusion epics here. And since we did acquire one, well, it was possible to acquire one from the earlier summon rush, we do have one in the bank. So I see here I have one in the bank. Um, however, we have to pay attention to which ones we actually need. So if you guys are not paying attention and you guys think all four of these epics are the same, you guys might just... Uh, fuse uh, select the fuse button for whichever one is convenient for you at that time but make sure you guys are summoning the correct epics they do not give you a check to stop you from summoning the wrong epic this is clearly an extra way to confuse you not only are there four different rares uh, you know obviously four different rares four different affinities there are also two different epics here so make sure you guys summon the correct epic if you guys summon the wrong epic, there will be no river large enough for your tears in this game. 
Um, but if you guys watch my previous video, maybe you guys can send a support ticket to Plarium begging and pleading that you made a mistake and that costs you your fusion. Maybe they will throw you a bone and give you the fusion anyways. Who knows? That might actually work out. But I'm warning you guys right now, there's going to be somebody out there that fuses three of these guys or three of these guys and that's going to be the end of your fusion. So make sure you guys keep that in mind when you guys are fusing your epics. And I think the last tip here uh, for you guys just to maximize on efficiency with the ongoing events, uh, please consider going, um, going in on this champion chase to make sure that you fuse all your epics if you have them available. Um, and also completing these events don't rush them because you still have time during the champion chase so finish the spider event finish the artifact enhancement event finish the dungeon divers and then fuse everything right now for the champion chase uh, for the champion chase as well as building everything right now for during champion training so this is just like a little extra thing for uh, efficiency to maximize your rewards um, minimize your spending along the way um, I think this fusion overall has been relatively simple um, in terms of layout. Event layout has been very efficient in terms of uh, overlapping um, your resources. Like for example, training, chase, spider, uh, enhancement, all ending at the same time. Spider is actually very easy for dungeon divers if you guys just have en extra energy, of course. Um, so everything really lined up really nicely at the end and it gives us an extra three days and their CVC at the end. So I feel like this fusion uh, overall, even though it was a traditional fusion, which requires more resources, requires extra planning, like I laid out in this video, it does require some planning uh, because there are some tricky parts to it, like four different epics, uh, sorry, two different epics, four different rares, and then the rares have different corresponding events. So it is a little bit tricky. Um, there are a lot of like little traps here for people. But I think overall the fusion was relatively straightforward in terms of event layout, in terms of resource efficiency and usage. So hopefully you guys nailed it. Um, I mean, he's going to be a good champion. I don't think he's going to be like game breaking in any um, different, in any aspect of the game right now. Uh, he's not going to be game breaking, but he's a good champion. Um, you know, the four turn cooldowns really hurt him a little bit here, but increased attack, increased accuracy. Not too many champions can do this. Um, Yoshi from Shadowkin and I believe one of the mythicals can do increased accuracy, increased attack. Uh, also this enfeeble debuff might actually be useful in the future, but to be seen, this passive, just don't even think about this passive, it's really, I don't know, it's really wonky. Right now we don't see any real um, application for it, but maybe in the future something might might require him to be asleep. Maybe he's immune to damage when he's asleep. Maybe a boss cannot damage you when your own team is asleep. You know, you never know. It, it, it could be something like that in the future. But he's a good champion. He's not going to be insane. If you guys didn't get him, no big deal. Hopefully you guys saved up some resources for the upcoming one. There is some rumbling, you know, rumbling uh, that uh, the next Halloween fusion will be a mythical. That would be pretty cool. You know, a nice red shiny mythical champion for you guys for Halloween. Personally, I really doubt it. I wouldn't put too much stock into the hype videos currently coming out. I think they're purely for hype, not for any kind of fusion speculation in the future, especially since this fusion is ongoing right now. So that's just my two cents. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips in this video. I hope they helped you, and I hope I saved someone from making really big mistakes. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below how you guys are doing, how your weekend is, what you guys are doing, if you guys are saving up for anything. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video.